This is Social Confidential, where Adweek social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing from major brands. I'm Jessica Ferris, and I'm here with Jean Sager, who educates the internet by sharing wordly wit and wisdom through Dictionary.com's social media accounts. You regularly share messaging that conveys that non-standard words and phrases are still real English. Why is that a common element of the platform's voice? We are really heavily uh, invested in opening up language to everyone. We really see that English is an evolving language. Slang is just as valuable and just as valid. Nobody gets to decide what the English language is. It's, it's one of the misconceptions about dictionaries that we create the rules of the English language. We don't. We actually record how language is actually used. How is your word of the day chosen and how does that get iterated across different social channels? So we have a actual person on our staff that chooses the word of the day at dictionary.com. Our social team then turns around and gets to play off what they have come up with and present it in fun ways. We get to present these new words that often people have never even heard of. So that's the, the fun part about the social side of it. You've also addressed topics around racial slurs and the language of social justice topics. Why do you think it's important to have those discussions through this venue? We really believe also that language is powerful. The words that you use can have an impact. We are really focused on making sure that people understand the words that they're using, as well as providing them with other options. One of the things that we love to be able to do is to explain different words that have come out, explain why it's important to capitalize the B in black. What's a recent social media post that you're particularly proud of? On Instagram, we posted the definition of white privilege. There are a lot of people who want to learn. And so we started posting definitions, whether it was white privilege on Instagram, Black Lives Matter. And, you know, that was a, a term that was actually added to the dictionary. Talking about, you know, different words around racism, around race, and really helping people make smart decisions. If you had one piece of advice for other social media managers, what would it be? engage, engage, engage. It is not a one-way conversation. You need to be listening to your users as well as talking to other people who are out there. I wouldn't say that you should be jumping onto Twitter or Instagram accounts and saying, hey, buy our product, but you can comment if they're talking about something related to your product and just throw a comment out there and just show that you are more than somebody that's a salesman. One of the things that's been really interesting about the pandemic is it has shown how important social media is in terms of giving us that chance to engage with other human beings. Social media is really just a great place to talk to other people, talk to brands, engage, learn, and develop as a human being. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. I'm Jessica Ferris. See you next time on Adweek's Social Confidential. Mm -hmm.